And we begin at 10 with new developments in an Oklahoma case that has gained national attention. We're talking about the legal case against pharmacist Jerome Ursuline. He's the man who shot a teenager during a robbery last year. Tonight, we've learned that Oklahoma County District Attorney David Prater made a request to have the judge of the case, Tammy Bass LeSure, removed. News Channel 4's Jolene Cheney has been following this story all day. She's live now with more. Jolene, a meeting was supposed to take place today on this very issue. Lance Prater, Ursuline's attorney, and the judge were all to meet in Basslejeur's chambers, but she'd already gone home for the day. If she does agree to remove herself from the case, the September 13th trial, as well as the use of cameras in the courtroom, are at jeopardy. I don't think the states wanted her on this case from the get-go. Monday morning, Oklahoma County DA David Prater met with a chief judge about having Judge Tammy Basslejeur recused from Jerome Ursuline's case. It's a decision Ursuline's attorney, Irvin Box, says could set the case back and quite possibly undo all the decisions Bash Lejeur has made from day one. I can adapt. We can adapt as a defense team, but it just makes it more stressful on us to, to adapt to a new judge and to re-urge motions that we've already heard, been heard by this uh, by Judge Tammy Bash Lejeur. A new judge will either start from scratch or keep any motions already ruled on by Bass Lejeur. Attorney Scott Adams says it's a rare request and one that most likely comes after very recent developments in the case. You know, that, that's what's very unusual about this case. I'm assuming it's something that has happened, you know, in the last few days over the weekend, late last week. I'm, you know, it's, for a case of this nature to be asking a judge to recuse at this late time, it has to, number one, I'm assuming be a very significant event. And number two, it's something that's happened very recently. A lot of things have occurred in the last three weeks. The new reports from Emmy's office, now the idea that maybe the judge on this case is going to get off the case. Last week, Prater was reportedly disappointed with the judge after she gave a little more time to the defense team before the trial starts. And last year, Bash Lejeur also made the decision to allow cameras inside the courtroom during the trial, something a new judge could take away. But I think every trial, I think it ought to be known. You know, uh, the, the a light shines best when it's exposed, and I think the public ought to be able to see what trial, what goes on, what their public servants do, uh, what their public officials do, and, and how the system uh, of justice works in Oklahoma County. District Attorney David Prater is not commenting yet. Calls to the judge were not returned. All of the principal parties in this trial are scheduled to meet in the morning to make a decision. We'll keep you posted. Jolene, we know you will. Thank you very much.